Hello, Chrissy Sumer. It's Monday, December 23rd. It's about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and oh, I don't know what channel I'm going to put this on. I'm not even sure if I'm going to upload it, but a lot of people have been asking me about Logic Before Authority, Idaho Picker, what's going on with that, yada, yada, yada. And I figured instead of addressing it all separately, I'll just try to do it in one video response and um, try to answer, you know, a, a little bit of, you know, people's questions all at once. Unfortunately, the rabbit hole here goes very, very deep. So um, I put together a, a small condensed version, you know, for time's sake. Um, I'm a little nervous to do this because Idaho Picker has a thing with um, not having a conscience and doxing females and, and everything. It's kind of how we wound up where we're at today. Um, see, there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes that not everyone knows about. And every so often it spills over onto the tubes and people get confused and they don't know what to, to think. and. You know, I try to not get people to, to pick sides. You know, you can get truth from, you know, whoever. It doesn't matter. Me or my enemies. You know, let them plant the seed and, you know, follow through on it. You know, double check everybody. We make mistakes, stuff like that. I don't want to um, discourage anybody. But Idaho Picker has um, absolutely no problem with um, sending his subs to go harass somebody. When he put out Justin Tribble's... Um, well, it was the wrong address at first, and he asked his subs to go knock on their door, I was mortified. I sent him a message. I'm like, you cannot do this. You don't know who watches your videos, okay? For starters, it's the wrong address. And then you're asking them to go there. You're, you're, you know, if anything happens, you're gonna be held liable. And he's like, well, I have nothing to lose. Then when he docks Brittany and I guess that might have been a misunderstanding like where you know people thought that he was implying that people should go there it's probably because of this pretty previous video which um, I talked him into taking down now Idaho picker is a con man sorry Daniel I'm, I'm just I'm trying to be real people are asking me I, I just want to be honest um, he's a con man um, he has a pattern <laughs> throughout his life of um, you know, repeating patterns, you know, whether he just never learns his lessons, he just keeps going over and over and over um, and making the same mistakes without learning. Um, I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt that, you know, everyone can change and, and, and all that, but that not be the case. Now, I don't have your number. I don't know any of your information. I know how most radio stations are might be run, but FPRN is a business that is coming out of Pennsylvania so when we do our show we're connected from different machines into patched into his studio that way in case one host goes down there's somebody else there he runs everything through there you know he you know, phone calls come in through that we're not physically in Pennsylvania this is you know this is his business if you don't know what you're talking about you really need to shut up okay because we're not running it we are told you got to call, you know, he'll try to get like a name. If not, he gives us a number, you know, an area code. So the person knows that they're unmuted. When you Skype in, it goes there. I'm in Georgia. Okay. I'm not in Pennsylvania. It goes through a studio. So think what you want. Um, you're just confusing people even more. Now, he, um, Idaho Picker has been going around on the down low behind everyone's back. Um, trying to get people to go after monographs. See, monographs an easy target. Why? Because he doesn't take shit from nobody. He will come at you, and you know, and and that's just it. So he kind of puts himself out there, and it's easy to target and hate monographs. You know, he doesn't really care. Um, so Idaho Picker was going around trying to get people to trying to get somebody in California, and I think I know who it is. Let me find out. It was you. Um, to go get um, his mugshot, a mugshot of this Dale Bennett um, in Sonoma, California. So he went and got, somebody went and got it, and guess what? They had to physically go there. It wasn't him. 
He's not Dale Bennett, never has been Dale Bennett. They come out with these horrific, slanderous accusations about monograph, which you people don't understand. The reason why they come out with such a horrific thing as being a, a pedophile is the hopes <laughs> that <laughs> the slander alone would get that person to dox themselves, okay? I can't be so-and-so and so-and-so because I'm really so, you know, you see how that works? And you wind up doxing yourself. This was the whole um, psychological um, psyop on um, getting money to expose himself. Well, he's stronger than most, so he's, he's, he's not going to dox himself like that, you know? So people then go on and regurgitate it because they get confused. You know, so many people are saying it must be true. He's so hated. He's not, you know debunking it, but this is how it works in the troll world. Um, uh, Idaho Picker was also, you know, supposedly, you know, he, his con just keep going on and on. I'm going to probably, I'm going to try to show you how there's a pattern here. He was also um, trying to recruit people for the White Dragon Society, okay, where he said Putin was um, a ninja, okay, you know, Putin. <laughs> And they were going to put forth all this money and start a new, you know, um, network and take over and, you know, the 200 million man army, you know, whatever. I guess that didn't um, manifest, right? Because his subscribers had to donate money to get him out, but these people are billionaires. So now he's trying with the, the, the conspiracy con, right? He already got um, Dabu to hold the bag and try to call somebody out on information that wound up not panning out. Okay, so just be careful. This is all about making money to him. Um, you know, what's really, really sad is most, most people who's involved in this movement are lower middle, middle class who've been screwed over by the government and the world and they're not working and they had the time to actually sit there and, and, and realize just how broken, you know, the system is, right? So they don't have money, but he wants to charge them what, $90 to come to a conspiracy conference? I'm going to put all links below. Here we go. This is from um, Idaho.gov. It's from July 2005. Now, if you go down here to, like, page 5, where it says disciplinary actions. Here's the thing. I didn't do all this research. A lot of people did. I did some of it um, of what I'm going to show. Now, if you notice right here, I'm not even going to read it all to you, but just right here, let me see if I can highlight it. Oh, it's highlighting the whole thing. This right here is all about um, Idaho Picker, Daniel A. Cannon, right? Look how long everyone else's is. Check out this one. You know, see how short they are? That little paragraph. Oh, I'm having issues here. Sorry. But if you come down here, this was, he lost his license for all these different reasons. Um... From April 27, 2005 until April 26, 2006, he, um, his um, license was, you know, suspended. He could no longer, you know, do real estate. Did he learn his lesson? I don't know. Here's an, uh, in uh, Yahoo Groups, right? Um, 2007, so now he's got his license back, and I'm not going to read all this to you. There's a lot here. He's looking to recruit somebody and, and um, to be a partner with them when they can get 27% or 25%, right? They just, you know, needed to sign and be, you know, at least have a, a worth of $2 million to $4 million and blah, blah, blah. Now, it's a great deal. You know, come with me and you can just make money out of nothing, blah, 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 right? 2007. Just got his license back, right? <sighs> Repeat patterns, right? Um, I'll put the links below to this stuff. He's probably going to flag me. This just goes to show um, he's got plenty of driving without a license, driving under the influence. He never learns. It just keeps repeatedly happening. You know, he, he, he's made a video addressing all this stuff, you know, like he didn't know it was a one-way street, whatever the case may be. But it, it's, it's starting to show a pattern, okay? <sighs> um, this one is, what is this one? Oh, more of this pattern driving recklessly uh, this is where we get to the um, the good stuff or the big stuff he, he actually got because of his little scam here after losing his license here 
this is the one he's talking about, where the judgment against him was $13 million against him and against his partner, $12,983,964. So, it, it, you know what I'm saying? It goes to show his character. And he's got way other ones over here, too, against credit cards, where he says, max out your credit cards. Uh, I don't have the page open, do I? Now, here we go. 11,000. 11,960, um, 11, 11 1,136, 15,872, 68,540. Yeah, go max out your credit cards, okay? Like he told you when he did his whole little scare stunt and ran off to Belize to try to go there to sell people real estate. Remember he said, you know, max out your credit cards and bug out. The time is now. Did it happen? It's all about making money to him. The white dragons didn't pan out. I mean, he, he says, well, it's against the banks. Who cares? It's against the banks. Um, whatever, dude. All right. Whatever. You, you're, you're a con man. And now you're trying to con and get other YouTubers to stand next to you and go after, you know, other YouTubers and go and <laughs> hold the bag for you. This is my belief. Okay. The guy has not changed. <clears throat> Here is QK Ultra's work. The Sandy Hoax Surprise. Uploaded December 10th. But here's the thing. I saw their video manager. They had this really uploaded sometime in November. I want to say November 17th. But if you scroll down, you'll see that Idaho Picker says, Oh, go to Mirror and add some more that, you know, that I see and know. Awesome vid and catch. Well, he waited like almost a whole day. So his video went viral. It was going on before its news. And not that that's anything to write home about. Um, there's some good publishers over there, but a lot of fear. But anyways, um, he waited about a day before he even credited. People were going and leaving comments left and right. Like, you got to go credit. I mean, because he took the information and the links and he presented it in his own way. Okay, because this is what Idaho Picker does. He goes and tries to find smaller channels because QK was a lot smaller at that time. And he looks at their work and he no longer just copies it. He tries to make it his own, okay? Now he has since credited QK, but you see his one up the 11th, this one published on the 10th, okay? And people are leaving a message. I mean, what, what do you mean? What, why do you have to wait so long to credit somebody? And then he never really even fully credited him. Here's another thing. I know that um, QK, I think, and Blank Egan, Blank Egan started working on it even months before that. So it was like, you know, a lot of people put their time into it, and it, it is about getting the truth out there. It is, okay, because this is what people aren't understanding, though. But when someone, like Logic Before Authority, a con man, goes around to smaller channels that he figures out nobody knows about, right, and, and takes their work and tries to make it his own, and then his followers think that he's so insightful and so this, and then meanwhile, you know, pr promoting his um, conspiracy conference, it's not being completely honest. You're being kind of a con man, all right? And you're deceiving people. I'm going to put the links to all this stuff below. Now, this is a video of just one person out of, out of many that he did this to. And he even got this person to take off the strike, you know, retract it. And um, he was supposed to make a follow-up video because, you know, he made a video calling her out and sent her his subs onto her right and they were attacking her calling her a witch and all kinds of stuff and she did what he asked and got the the strike reversed and he uh never made um good to his promises so there you have it and this is just a little bit because this video has probably gone longer than i even wanted it to but people are asking me what's going on with this and here you go. It's about making money. I'm not saying we shouldn't make money. Money is required to live, okay? <laughs> but when you're not being totally honest with people, and then when you, when you look at the person with some transparency and you try to look at them and you find out that they have a, a very serious pattern of conning people, not only out of thousands, but millions of dollars. Let's not forget, he left his autistic son and ran to Belize, okay? He comes out and he makes a video saying that I have all his information because he called into a radio show that I'm sitting at in Georgia and where he called into was, you know, Pennsylvania. You know, he, 
you know, Idaho Picker, if you come after me for this, I don't even care. Bring it. Bring it. Because I'll, I'll roll up my sleeves and I'll throw more out there. You know what I'm talking about? All right. God bless everybody. You don't have to believe me. Look into this yourself. You know, come up with your, your own judgment. All right. Bye. Merry Christmas.